heart is about giving of ourselves to God. Amen. I know we have guests here tonight. It's a little different for us. We have been. We know there is great spiritual attack going on. We know that we cannot fight the spirits in our flesh. So we have spent the evening singing scripture songs, reading passages of scripture. I got two more that I'm going to do. I'm going to ask Brother Tillery and Brother Mike Johnson to get uh, two verses each on the oneness of God. And they're going to come after we receive the tithes and offering. And we're just going to refresh ourselves in the knowledge that we serve the one true living God who has given us a name that's above every name, that there's nothing, nothing that can stop the power in the name of Jesus. So as we sing this, this is a verse of Scripture, we're going to sing it. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. We invite you to come and give in the name of Jesus. They that wait upon situation and tonight the word has come to you you have a word we want you to come and speak it in this microphone because the word of God is what fights our battles it's the two-edged sword so um, we're going to read these but if there's someone here you're fighting a battle and you may have already read a verse now we're not going to line up and everybody read another one because that's like I know there's an adrenaline rush I'm not talking about that I'm not talking about us just feeling good, but somebody's fighting the devil. And you need to read a verse. You need to come right now. Okay? All right? This is it. Or forever hold your peace. No, I'm kidding. I don't want you to hold your peace forever. But right here. Here you go, baby. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we are also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Jesus. Raise the set before us. Amen. Looking unto Jesus, the yeah. author and the finisher of our faith, Amen. who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Amen. I believe this is our real battles are won. Spiritual battles. 
We fight with the Word. Not just our emotions. Or the Word of God. So, you know, you ladies were up here. Did you have one? You want to read one? You want to quote one? You got some words of wisdom you want to give us? You got one? Go ahead. It's been burning on my heart all night. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things yeah. in Christ who strengthens me. Amen. You, you want to read that again? He's going to turn you up. <laughs> Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Well, I almost feel like maybe that's the word for the evening for so many of us. Let's read it. Let's quote it aloud with her. Come on. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. me. Amen. 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 There's a, there's a practical as well as, yes, the spiritual and the revelation and all those unsearchable riches of Christ that are here. But there's also the practical side. We're, we're going to leave here tonight and we're still going to fight the devils that were they're waiting on us outside God like getting the boot but they're waiting on you I promise you that's not a threat we just have to learn how to fight in Jesus name alright you got our our word come on brother come on brother praise the Lord 1 Timothy 3.16 and without controversy great is the mystery of God being it was God that was manifested in flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received up in glory. He can read one, you get one. This, this is like the foundation of our faith. Amen. The two scriptures I have, they are related. A well-known scripture by many John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. The scripture that's related to it. First John 3, 16. Right. Says, Hereby perceive we the love of God. Yeah. Because he, who is he? Jesus. Yeah. Laid down his life. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Amen. For us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Amen. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I'll give another one. You got two. I got two. First, I mean, Colossians 1.19. The Bible says, For it pleased the Father that in him should all the fullness dwell. And Second Colossians, the ninth chapter, it says, For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, yeah. and ye are complete in him. St. John 10. All right. John 10. Verse 30. I and my Father are one. Woo! All right. Yeah, you got one? Uh, John 14 and 8. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long with you? Yet thou hast not known me, Philip. He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. How sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and that the Father in me? The words that I speak, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the words. This will be our last song of worship. And the chorus is, gives us, invites us gives us the opportunity to invite His love to fill our lives.